Good morning. We are so happy that you're here. We vlog every single day. So if you like this video, be sure to come back tomorrow. I am already ready this morning because I have my like new baby doctor appointment this morning. Um, I am 12 weeks, four days, and I'm also getting an NT scan done today. Um, so basically, it's the first time I'm going there since graduating from the fertility clinic. Um, a little bit different, Peter can't come, all of that sort of stuff, um, but I'm excited. My fertility specialist said good things about my doctor. Um, also a friend recommended this doctor to me, so I am going to have some peanut butter toast um, and just start the vlog until it's time to go. So remember when I came here last time, I told you Baldwin Park was like a mini celebration. It's so nice. Um, I wanted to remember to tell you guys about it on my way. Um, Peter was not able to come at all. Work just was a little too chaotic this Monday morning. He would not have been able to go in to the um, the appointment anyways. So I'm not too bummed about it. At the stop sign, turn right onto Lake Baldwin Lane. So yeah, pretty, right? But yeah, hopefully um, at my next appointment, he'll be able to come and maybe we can go out to eat after or just like take a walk through the neighborhood. It's so cute. Right, yeah, I'm headed in. Um, I won't be able to film today. I know they're gonna let me FaceTime Peter. Um, I did drink a Pepsi beforehand, so hopefully little guy's a little active today. Um, I'm nervous, but not too nervous. Less nervous than I expected myself to be. I don't really know what to expect. New office, new doctors, new nurses, new everything. Um, so I'm excited and I will show you pictures as soon as I have them. There's that, that side profile you were looking for. Mm hmm He's got his hand his by his face. Nice. Alrighty, I'm home. Sorry my hair looks crazy. I took it out of the bun because I was there for three hours and it was all good, like nothing to be concerned about, but I just went in, waited, got the ultrasound, waited a full hour until I talked to the doctor. Um, but I know why there is such a big wait and that is because he really takes the time to talk thoroughly about everything and I feel really good after the appointment. We'll talk about it a little bit more later. I wanted to tell you that I was wearing the, the Dumbo Main Street Traveler headband because of the little Dumbo baby of mine theme we've been going with lately. But I had my hair up and I was there for so long and I'm so, so, so hungry after all that. We ordered some Chipotle so we're gonna eat that. But first, I did want to show you our new ultrasound photos. Um, we even got some 3D ones, which I was not expecting. I think this one is my favorite little side profile -y one. And then that is the 3D one. It's crazy. Awfully cozy with his little hands by his face. Hello. You're in my spot. Go back in four weeks. I gotta get some blood work done. Peter's having a doozy of a day at work, but food is going to help. All right, today was n is not, today's Monday, right? Yeah. I feel like today's not as bad as a Monday I had the past two Mondays. Um, but it still was more rough than my typical Monday because we're still dealing but with stuff. But it was so happy. But it was so happy because of our baby appointment. Mm -hmm. Can I tell them about the serendipitous thing? Yes. So something super serendipitous happened, like a sign almost, but also like we've talked about like, we haven't talked about it in a long time, but we've talked before about like, oh, like will Sarah stop eating or will we stop eating plant-based when Sarah's pregnant or when the baby's here? And like we know there's going to be people out there who have done it and it's healthy and it's a great option, but we know people who are going to be like, no, don't do that because of X, Y, and Z. But then it comes down to like our choices and our our discussions with our doctor. Guys, our doctor is plant based, and his wife and is so plant based, and they have 
had two pregnancies kids. and are raising two kids, all plant-based. Mm-hmm. How great is that? So he's going to be almost like a resource to bounce ideas off to make sure everything that we like could could need to be aware of and should be aware of and mm-hmm. should think about whether we choose, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And it's great. And so I'll have like routine blood work done and we're going to review it all and I go back in four weeks. Also, the NT scan today went really great. If you di- don't know, it's just like a measuring of the fluid on the back of the baby's neck to just indicate more information about their chromosomes and everything um, looked great. And so it was a good it was a good day. It was really good, especially after talking to the doctor and I wasn't mad about being in the waiting room anymore. Um, but it was like he gave really good care. And Eve's getting really good care right now. You're getting her ears scratched. I've never scratched, like, almost the inside of Eve's ear. And she's, like, she's loving it. <laughs> All right, since uh, we ate a late lunch there and a pretty hearty one, I don't know what we're doing for dinner or when we're eating dinner. But we are going to watch another episode of Home on Apple TV Plus to kick off this evening. These are nice because they're only 30, like 30 minutes. What's this one about? No, we already watched Bali, Apple TV. Next one, Hong Kong. Oh, this is cool. It's, it's an architect like redesigns a 344 square foot apartment. Ooh, look at the creepy reflection. She's holding your left side right ahead. <laughs> All right, we made it. 85% through the next episode of Home before Sarah falls asleep. And now Sarah is eating leftover pasta salad out of a massive bowl. <laughs> but apparently this is, uh, this is, <laughs> this is what it looks like after going to your first official OB visit. I'm going to watch some Sarah's probably going to fall asleep for a little nap after munching on that. I'm going to watch this Steve Jobs video that I, what it's not, this? I think it's from 2015. I think so. I think it's made to look like that because this is 1984, the scene. Um, it's not the Ashton Kutcher one, it's the other one. I've never seen it and I love it. So far it's only nine minutes in and I have, even though I've never, re- I haven't read it yet, I have the Steve Jobs biography there. So. Steve Jobs wasn't nice. Steve Jobs was not nice, but well, you know who was nice? That chick right there. Um, oh, we're watching, we're watching, we're watching. Steve Jobs, really good movie, really good storytelling. They always it was based around different launches in Apple's history, and like the history of Steve Jobs as a person. Um, Sarah slept through the whole thing. She's rocking a nasty headache right now, so she's resting. And I just put on social network, keeping the theme of technology, I guess, for the night. But we're just relaxing, you know. That's good to do. I'm not running today because the the virtual Star Wars rival run I did this weekend. So today I'm off, tomorrow I'll get back to running, and Eve and me were playing a little bit, so now she's resting too. Are you hungry? Okay, we're hungry. So the f- night, we didn't go grocery shopping this weekend, so we're running a little bit low, so the night might lead to getting food. I have no idea what was ordered. <laughs> I don't either. We got ethos. We got a calzone. We got garlic knots. Oh my word. We got a buffalo chicken wrap. I got some fruit of the day. This is the marinara for the garlic knots. And whatever these are, these are two cowboy cookies. <laughs> They're oily. Bada bing, bada boom. Wow. A celebratory feast. Celebratory feast for our big-headed baby. I think we talk about it every time we get Ethos, but if you ever get Ethos, you must, I repeat, must get their garlic knots. First time we ever went there, our waitress even said the only reason why she works there is because of the garlic knots. Someone's relaxing over there. Trying to add our ultrasound pictures to my app. Also, they changed our due date. What is it now? October 28th. I know. It got moved up today. Just so, one day. So Wednesdays are our day now. Sarah said I have to explain why I've been wearing my hair, my hair, my hat backwards. And it's because it 
it holds my hair back um, better because it's getting quite long and I'm just like I'm, I'm past that stage of my life where I like the way that it feels I, I hate it and if I wear like it's weird to wear my hat frontwards all the time inside the house um, and this just like feels more comfortable but we could be going to bed soon but Sarah and I agreed after I annoyingly kept asking for weeks so I think we've said before Wall Street Money Never Sleeps is one of like my favorite movies of all time with Shia LaBeouf but we've actually never seen the original Wall Street movie and I feel like I got an extra surge of wanting to watch it after we watched The Big Short last week and so on Apple TV it was on sale for 10 bucks so we just bought it and I'm super pumped and we're gonna watch it right now also I have three cousins that were born on October 28th really the twins yeah so that's like oh so that's kind of cheating because and Anna yeah but that would be crazy as long as that that baby can't move that date up any any <laughs> earlier because I gotta run the Chicago Marathon <laughs> World's largest blanket. World's heaviest blanket. Also, Eve's been doing this thing where she just like wants me to rub her like cheeks and ears. She just comes over and wants this because she's the best. Oh gosh. My friends, we are witnessing history. Eve just willingly climbed onto Sarah's lap and up her to give her kisses. This has literally never happened. In Never. all, I've always put her on. She walked onto you. Of like, her free put her will. Paws on my, she this is. has never happened before in existence. What? She's my own sweetie girl. Also, the jealous is real. But I'm just so happy that happened. We've been waiting three years, two and a half years. Yeah, it's almost her dodgy For three years. Her tail's even dropping. Signaling that she's comfy and relaxing. This is great. Hey, neighbors. You comfy? <laughs> yeah. Wow, wow, wow. And tomorrow, we're gonna watch this. My client, one of my classic favorites. So the night has come to an end. It is mid, just a little bit past midnight. Look at these cute photos right there the best um it's interesting watching that movie and like to seeing how the little connections they made between the original and the one that came out with Shia LaBeouf um but really good really real good all right today is April 20th Julia Child oh everything in moderation including moderation Ooh, I like that Everything in moderation, even moderation, that kind of flows with today because we've been so good about cooking, eating good, cooking in the home good, and what did we do today? All of our meals we ate out. I know. <laughs> We're done. It was a celebratory day. It was, yeah. And we got to go grocery shopping. It is National Infertility Awareness Week, and so I've been kind of prepping some posts on our Baby Burkhart Project Instagram page and some on our normal page as well yeah. um thanks for letting us share a story here yeah. it's pretty cool that we've been able to do that and so many like the biggest thing in all of this is like nobody whatever what you're going through are you alone yeah just a side note <laughs> it's good to be home it's good to be home also she says it's good to be home. You okay, Eve? You ready for bed? Sleepy face? Oh, so tired. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>